Right, copy number one. Decent turnout, it's a nice morning, and hopefully you'll find a few bits. How much for the jacket? How much is that one? Uh, it's a pound. Pound? Yeah. Uh, what about that one? 50 pounds. Right, number one is done. Got a sweaty hat hair, but yeah, it was decent. Managed to fill a bag. Um, mostly like bread and butter stuff. Nothing huge, no big things. But it's like t-shirts, like old t-shirts, early 2000s, like Nike stuff. And I think that's about it. But we're gonna shoot off to carpet number two now and hopefully find a few bits there. Okay, so we're at carpet number two now and it's huge today. This is the biggest I've seen, I think. It like wraps all the way around but yeah I'm just gonna get right into it and hopefully we'll find a few bits I spent quite a lot of time at the first car boot because it kept on getting bigger but I got here about what's the time about half nine ish I'm at the second car boot and hopefully we'll find a few bits here How much you want for the shorts? Okay. Yeah, go on in. <laughs> How much have you got on that one? And we've just finished number two. And yeah, it was actually, it was decent. I didn't pick up too many bits. I think I got like four or five items, but they're like really good ones, like Stone Island. Nike shorts and then there's like a Ferrari jacket, but they're really good bits. Uh, and I didn't pay too much on them. There was also like two banners, like some old, I think they're like nine, uh, 90, they're obviously 90s because it's Marlboro, but it's like the Marlboro, Ferrari, like banners that you can tie up. And then there was another one which was Vodafone and Shell, and he wanted 50 pounds for the two and he wouldn't split them, so I just had to leave them because. I don't really, I only want the one with Marlboro and Ferrari on it. But that's that. Hopefully they're there like the next like month and then I'll just keep on offering him because he was just being really stubborn with his price. But yeah, that's car boot number two done and I'll show you everything that I found in the next clip. Okay, so we're back home and yeah, I got everything that I found today. T-shirts, jumpers, a couple of jackets, and a few shorts, and there is a hat and tie. And we're just gonna go through everything that I found. We'll start with the t-shirts, and then just go work our way through, as I always say. First, we've got the t-shirts. I paid 50p each on, yeah, yeah, all of these I paid 50p each. There's basically just this big box that this guy had. It was all like sports gear and just branded stuff. And looking at these, most of them are like, meh sort of things i was i think these are the first things that i picked up so i was doing the classic panic buys first one is this i think it's team i think it's ontario i think it's how you pronounce it it's pretty plain on the front but then on the back it's got nice big as printed i think that is yeah and it's on a nice 90s as tag so i paid 50p on that one probably like 10 pound all in this one i don't think i'm gonna sell i think i'm gonna wear it for when i play sport what does it say? Something about sport. Sport specific training, 50p. This one, I don't know why I bought this. I don't even, I don't even remember buying it, but I think it's Cayman, Cayman Islands. 2014 World Cup qualifiers, Grand Cayman Islands. Which is 
literally that on the front. I don't know why I bought that, but it was 50p. Then we've got this Ralph Lauren polo in like this grid pattern. Paid 50p on that one as well. I think it has got a couple of marks on it, but I'm gonna try and scrub them out, get a bit of oxy action on that and a soak. And then the last one is US Soccer Coaches Organization T-shirt. It's on a 02000s gray tag, I think that one is there. It's pretty plain on the front. Then it's got a nice big swoosh on the back, wherever exposed. Big swoosh there, soccer. And yeah, so how many was that? Five t-shirts for 50p each. Basically just stock fillers, that's what I'm in need of at the moment on Depop. I've been uploading loads recently and I'm sort of starting to run out of stuff. I'm gonna quickly do the accessories that I found. First is this Mickey Mouse. Let me focus it there. It's like a cream color. Pay 50p on it, just a Mickey Mouse cap. I think it's a 90s one. It doesn't say where it's made or any, any date on it, but it's definitely an older one. Yeah. And then I got this Polo Ralph Lauren tie. I don't really know why I picked this up. I think I paid two pound on it, which I thought was all right. And it's probably like more of an eBay item, but I'm just gonna see what it, how it does on Depop. And those are the accessories I found. Um, what should we do next? We're going to the sweatshirts. But I'll quickly say this, within the next two videos, actually I'll say, I'll say the next video, I'm gonna try and do a ACG, a Nike ACG collection as my next video, because just to change it up, because I'm just doing constant trip to the thrifts. But yeah, next video will be a Nike ACG collection video. Okay, so now into the jumpers. First one is like this fleecy Aruba, I think it is. Yeah, Aruba sweatshirt. It's not branded or anything, it's just one of them touristy sort of sweatshirts. But I paid 50p on it and it's like, it's just a good stock filler, especially in the winter times. Probably like 10 to 15 pounds all in is what I'll get on that. Next, we've got this Fila spell out hoodie. Let me get the hood up. Yeah, it is a hoodie. And I paid 50p on it. It is quite bobbled, bobbly. So I'm gonna have to de bobble it and give it a wash probably but I paid 50p on it and it's probably like, again, like 15 pound item around there. Next, we got probably the, my favorite item, the best item of the day, this Stone Island Denims um, zip up jumper. I think it's 2004, I can't remember. I haven't, che I checked the art when I got it, but it's quite a few weeks ago when I actually found this. But I paid two pound on this, which is a steal. I think, I don't, I'm not really a Stone Island person, but probably anywhere from like, 35 to 50 is what I'd say on that. I don't know, I'm gonna have to ask a few friends, ask a few people what I'd, what they'd price that. But yeah, that's a good price for that. And then next we got the sweater shop, spell out sweatshirt, paid, that was a pound that was, and these go for like 25, 30 all day long. Definitely really good sellers these are. And then the last sweatshirt of the day is this, I think it's early 2000s, maybe late 90s Umbro sweatshirt and it is Aberdeen, I think. Aberdeen Football Club, Aberdeen FC. I just like the color blocking on it and it's probably, again, like a 15 to 20 pound item. Nothing too crazy on it, but I paid, I think it was two pound as well on that one. So just really good stock fillers basically is what I've got for today. And then we're gonna finish off with the coats and the shorts and we'll be done. Now I've got the final bits of the day. Quickly do these shorts. Paid 50p each on these. Just got the swoosh there and then the Nike embroidered spell out somewhere. Not on that side, back on that side. There, one pair in black and then one pair in gray, 50p each. Again, swoosh and then a little spell out down the leg. I'm probably gonna start hoarding shorts for summer next year because it's getting colder now and I've started to get the puffers out and uploading them onto Depop. So check my Depop, I'll put it here. Ryan's Finds, I-H-I-N-D-S, F-I-N-D-S. And then we'll get into the jackets now. First is this navy one, just a Nike swoosh on the front and then a nice embroidered one on the back. Paid a pound on that and probably get like 15 to 20 on it. Is The bad thing about it is the zip pull has been, it's one of them rubbery ones so they just snap really easily. But it's on a early 2000s, I think it's like late 90s, early 2000s tag. And then the final two jackets of the day, I'll do this one first. It's this Carhartt, just zip up, like fleece lines jacket. Paid a pound on it and I'll probably get 20 to 30 on that one probably. 
nothing too special, but it's just a nice essential, good stock filler. And then the final item of the day is this 1997 Ferrari coach jacket. It's for the 50th anniversary, I think it was, he was saying. You can see there, 50, 1947 to 1997. And it says on the tag as well, 1996. And it's just got the big spell out on the back. It's just printed on, unfortunately, not embroidered. But I did pay up on that. I think I paid eight or nine pounds. Might have been 10 pounds, actually. 10 pounds sounds more car booty. But yeah, 10 pounds on that, I did pay up, but I'll probably get 20 to 25 on that maybe. Not too sure, I have to test the waters a bit. Okay, so that is everything that I found today. As always, make sure to follow the Instagram and the Depop, it'll be down here. Ryan's Finds, I-H-I-N-D-S, F-I-N-D-S. Um, also make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and put the bell on, because I'm gonna do, next video is definitely gonna be a Nike ACG collection because I'm gonna change it up from the trip to the thrift videos. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like it, subscribe, tell your friends about it. We're still gonna try and get to 1,000 subs by the end of the year. I think it's getting tighter and tighter, but we might reach it, I don't know. We'll see how it gets. But thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and in a bit.